Run, Roach. What's this about? Monsters! Monsters there, in the cave! We managed to flee, but Hugo remains inside! Hugo? Our brother! He's still in there, inside! Help us find him! We'll pay you for your toil! You post that notice about an escort? Yes, we did. And not without cause, it seems. We waited some days, yet when none answered, we risked the expedition unaccompanied. Fools we were. We'd have done better to show patience. Wait! Poor Hugo. Left to an unknown fate. Noticed what attacked you? There was no time! We ran for the exit as soon as we felt the earth quiver. But Hugo, well, he went the other way. So, monsters crawl out of the ground? I... I suppose... In truth, I don't know. We just ran. Did not look back. Why do you even go in there? We... lost our way. Hmm. Mistake that cave for the high road? By the hair on my chinny-chin-chin, chin, what difference does it make whether we went in for a stroll or to gather stewards? Hugo remains inside, in grave danger. That's what matters. Will you go in after him or not? Every second could be vital. I could look into it, but it'll cost you. How much would you take? A reasonable price. Fine. I'll look for him. You two stay out here. blood on the blade. Weapon was Hugo's, maybe. Blood trail. Could be Hugo's wounded. Warm and damp. Kicking wars prefer cooler environments. 
probably why they keep their distance. Damn, water's hot. Get burned if I don't watch it. Could use some protection. Maybe Quen will work. You, Hugo. Your brother sent me. Ja! Dizards! Scoundrels! Tartmongers! They attacked me, but I fended them off. Now, they sent a brigand to finish the job. What are you talking about? Ran into them outside, claimed monsters attacked. They ran, made it out, but you got stuck inside. They asked me to help you. Is that what they told you? The lying weasels. More trickery on their part, I'm certain. Whoa, slow down. What's this about? Uh, I'm Hugo Monar. My father, Victor Monar, you may have heard of. A cognac distiller he was, famed for it. Before he passed, my brothers and I would quarrel over who would inherit the family business. So father decided he would force us to work together. He broke his still down into its parts. Three of them he hid, telling each of us the location of one. When my brothers learned my part, the last, was hidden in here, they decided they did not need me anymore. They decided to cut me out of the business. Literally. We argued, fought. The noise must have woken the beasts. My brothers ran for the mouth, while I ran deeper in. What about the missing part? Find it? No. I know only that it's in this cave, likely at the bottom of a pool. I feel awkward to ask, but as I am wounded, would you be kind and retrieve it? Fine, I can do that. But you must know, I... I cannot pay you well. Figured as much. Start producing cognac, I'll come by for a discount. That, I promise you. Wait here. Humming. Place of power. It's gotta be.
Found the missing part. Really hit that well, your father. Oh, that's fantastic. Your pay. It is not much, I know. But I promise you good prices. The best once the tavern is open again. Hold you to that. Now let's go. Brothers are probably getting antsy. Wait, see there? My brothers! They've rounded up some thugs. They mean to attack me. We don't know that. Would you try to tell me it's a coincidence? That they return with an armed band? They've come for the last part of the still. They won't kill me for it. Please, you may only hope. Kill them. Elsewise, they'll kill me. Kill your brothers? You want that? Well, perhaps not them, but the other roughs, for certain. As to my brothers, I don't know. You couldn't perhaps render them harmless? Ah, will you defend me? have much of a choice. Thanks. A thousand thanks. I shall wait here. Ah, Witcher! What are you doing? Teaching you some decency. He's gone mad! <laughs> Hold him back! <laughs> They got what they deserved. Maybe they did mean well. I, for one, do not believe it. They were overcome with greed, ready to do anything to wrest the last part of the still from me. Besides, you did not kill them. They will come too, soon, having learnt a valuable lesson, I trust. So what now? Uh, I fear I don't know. I can't possibly hope to rebuild my father's still. I suppose I must hang a shingle in the market, sell wine. Or perhaps I should move on, leave Toussaint. Alas, I know not and will have to see. Whatever the case, I shall not forget your help with my brothers. Time we went our separate ways. Good luck, whatever you decide to do. I thank you, Witcher. Fare thee well. Move it! Ha <laughs> ha! 
know how I will ever repay your witcher. Don't expect to be paid. Hope you're feeling better, that's all. Oh, yes, I feel my strength returning thanks chiefly to Barnabas Basil's care. Horrible ordeal you endured. Glad I cut it short. Yes. Years of suffering. Do you know what was worse than the hunger? Watching my loved ones, my children grow old and die. All my family's long gone now. The last of my kin perished decades past. I fear I've nowhere to go. This is a big house, big estate. You can stay here. Truly? I could never infringe so on your hospitality. Yet... Yeah. After all I've suffered, the years of starvation, I've but one dream. At last to prepare food that fortifies, nourishes, to delight in the tastes and smells of spices. To sit at one table with others and eat. Hmm. Don't see a problem if that's your dream. You could help Barnabas Basil in the kitchen. Eating his meals. You know he's not a culinary virtuoso. Nothing could make me happier. Thank you. No, thank you. House could use a woman's touch. I've one other thing I'd like to tell you. Many years ago, my father assembled valuables for my diary. I never wet, so they remained unclaimed. These baubles are no use to me now, but to you, well, perhaps let them be a token of my gratitude. If you wish to find them, you must go to my old home, to Trastamara. The dowry lies hidden in a barrel in the cellar. There are several barrels. You must give each a knock until you find the right one. Do just that. Thanks. I'd never expect someone with your past to feel drawn to the kitchen. Do you fear I will cook in your home as I brewed as a white? <laughs> Counting on you having slightly better taste as a human. Of that, you can be sure. I loved cooking, even as a child. My gran was a true master in the kitchen. Her spit-roasted oaks was famed throughout the land. Thought you were a lady, owned an estate. Do you mean to say a woman of my rank should have had a cook? You're right, of course. And I had the best of cooks. But I devised the dishes myself. They only prepared them. You sure you don't feel lonely out here? I cannot say yet. Too little time has passed since you freed me of my thrall. But somehow... For now, at least, I do not feel drawn to the city, to others. Visited others' homes as a white? Yes, but ever at night, when all were asleep, I went in search of spoons. Remember, you can always change your mind. Decide you've lived here long enough, just say the word. I'd never wish to seem ungrateful. And I'd never want you to stay against your will. See you later. Take care, Witcher. And remember, you always have warm food awaiting your return. Renovations coming along all right, Barnabas Basil? Superbly, sir. General refurbishment has been completed. And I took the liberty of adding two racks, each upon which you might hang weapons and armor. If you've some pieces you'd like to display. Likewise, I have prepared a few spots in which new paintings might be hung. In other news, the laborers dusting out the cellar have made a most unusual discovery. I believe it's something you'll wish to see. If you say I should see it, I'll go see it right now, B.B.
Something behind this wall, I think. Missed it one time. B.B., know anything about the laboratory in the cellar? One of the previous owners take an interest in alchemy? A laboratory? Alchemy? I know nothing of it. But I understand that to a witcher this must be a very intriguing fight. It is. It was walled up. The equipment's pretty ancient too, so it must have belonged to someone who lived at Corvo Bianco before you started working here. Whoever it was sure knew their stuff though. Got dragonglass vials and flasks, stills, sublimators, vengerometers. Forgive me, sir, but I fear I don't follow. Just saying, it's top-notch equipment. True masterpieces of craftsmanship for use in alchemy. Brewing a concoction with this stuff versus doing it over an open fire? Well, there's no comparison. Then I am all the more delighted you discovered it, sir. Starting to really like this place. Maybe we should keep going, refurbish some more. What do you think, B.B.? As you wish, sir. Shall we see to the house or the grounds this time? Starting to get into this whole renovating thing. There must be other things we can improve. What a splendidly wise idea. Now that the general refurbishment is done, why not see to the grounds? Perhaps renovate the stables? Or return Madame Bolius's garden to its former verdancy? You know, Roach, my horse? Well, we've been through a lot together. And since I finally got a decent place to stay, I think she deserves one too. Oh, a sturdy stable testifies to a most honorable owner. Just say the word, and I'll have them start working on it at once. My Roach deserves the best. Have them refurbish the stables. I shall get to work at once. Yet finding workmen and completing construction takes time, though likely no more than two days. Will you be needing anything else, sir? So, sometimes I have to brew a potion, but I can't find the herbs I need growing anywhere nearby. Well, you're in luck, sir. The flower garden, once kept by Madame Nina, Monsieur Bolius's wife, seems the ideal place to cultivate herbs. In fact, it's roomy enough to plant shrubbery. Good idea, Barnabas Basil. Herbs there will save me hours of painstaking searching and harvesting. The idea is yours, sir. I am but the humble executor of your will. I believe we shall have sown the first seats in two days' time. Will you be needing anything else, sir? Feels like by investing a bit of coin I could make the house more functional. Indeed, momentum is best maintained once established. Now that we've finished the general renovations, you might begin to consider such things as a new bed, or additional armor stands, or weapon racks. 
Also, some new furnishings and a fresh coat of paint on the walls would do much to improve the guest quarters. Thinking about buying a comfortable bed. Always wanted one. Excellent idea. In your profession, rest is supremely important. But say the word, and I shall order you a bed from the carpenters who craft comfort for the court. Great. Order me a fine bed, please. Think I deserve one at my age. True indeed, true indeed. I shall send a runner at once. The bet will be in place by this time tomorrow. Is there anything, anything else you require, sir? Was wondering about the guest room. Not that I'm expecting company, but... Oh, but that is immaterial. All self-respecting homes should boast a comfortable guest room. What if someone were to drop by unannounced? Yeah, the sooner we start on that, the better. I can tell a man of action immediately. I'll see to it myself. The room shall be ready in two days, in my opinion. Is there anything, anything else you require, sir? If you don't mind, I'd rather postpone talking about renovations. Need to ask you something else. Of course, sir, as you wish. What is the nature of your inquiry? That's all for now, BB. Thanks. Think you can do whatever you please? What is it? Got your coin, sir. And a wee gift to thank you for the trust you showed. This blade's the Reckoner. It saved my arse a fair number of times. Thanks, Chanfinelli. We'll call it even. One last thing. I'd like to apologize for the whole minging kerfuffle. some.
Here in Beauclair, all's right and fair. Now I shall sink you a song. Ah. One, two, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Greetings, sir. What is it you need? Mm, had wine on my mind all day. What kind? Red? White? Rosé? Dry? Semi-dry? Sweet? How heavy? What appellation? Mm, I'll need to think about it. Tell me something about the area, would you? Hmm, what's there to tell? That the master of these lands, Monsieur de Bobo, is the greatest buffoon in all Tucson? Really? Hmm. Thanks. Keep an eye out in that case. Show me what you got behind the counter. Gwent, maybe we could play around. Thank <laughs> you. 
Lepiotus Vicin Lanks, a rear witch. Probably on an empty stomach. Oof. Drink, give me a drink. <laughs>